Oh, hello. Charles Bell here, managing partner of Hawthorne Bell in London. Now, we represent only the most discerning clientele. Royals, billionaires, and the occasional Bond villain. Hi, Charles. How are you? I'm okay, thanks. I've just received the most amusing message. Apparently, someone claims that my Microsoft 365 account has been hacked. <laughs> I mean, that's preposterous, isn't it? Because I've got MFA. That's multi-factor authentication, darling. That means my account is like the Fort Knox. It's unhackable. Charles, I mean, MFA is good. In fact, MFA is very good. But cyber criminals have devised some ways that they can get into your account, even if you've got MFA. It's called token theft. Token theft? That sounds like something from a, a James Bond movie. Close, Charles. But the villains in this movie are the hackers. Good heavens. Would you like to show me how this token theft works? Charles, I can do. But I think it might be better coming from my friend, John. Aren't you John? Yes, I am John, a thun. But I've got another friend called John, John Jarvis. John is a Microsoft MVP and I'd like him to show you a full demo about how hackers get into your account, even with MFA enabled. Okay, that's fine. But before we do, I'm gonna go and reset my password and I'm gonna sit in a dark room and I'm gonna question everything that I've ever believed in. So welcome John to the channel. You're gonna show us today how hackers bypass MFA using a tool called Evil Jinx. Yeah, so Evil Jinx, if you don't know what it is, it's an adversary in the middle tool. What it does, it uses um, acts as a framework as a, and a proxy between the user's connection to Microsoft 365 and picks up usernames, passwords, and most importantly, the session token. Wow. So if we just hop over to my screen now, this is Charles Bell's mailbox. And we've got an email now from the hacker, who is John Jarvis. Now, if Charles opens this email, you can see there's a bit of urgency about it, high importance. Hi, Charles. Sorry if this is rushed, but can you take a look at our client information below? This is urgent. So, Charles, busy man, he just simply clicks on this. He doesn't think too much about it. And this directs him to quite a familiar Microsoft 365 login page. So, nothing seemingly out of the ordinary here. So Charles will enter his uh, email address, click on next. He'll enter his password and he'll click on sign in. That should prompt him for his MFA. So again, nothing out of the ordinary. It's asking him for MFA, which is good. He enters MFA on the Authenticator app on his phone. And he's logged in to Microsoft 365. Nothing out of the ordinary for Charles has happened. So from that demo, everything kind of seemed normal, um, except for Charles didn't actually get any kind of client data. So that might be that the first warning for Charles, right? It mm. just looks out of the ordinary, but you know, typical email that you, that you may see for a solicitor, a lawyer, et cetera, et cetera. But on the background, what's happened? Let's click to that now. Okay, so now, John, we see quite a lot of information here, no? So we've now seen Charles's email, his password in absolute clear text. Yeah, if so I now the hacker's, go to... hacker's now got the username and the password. 100%, but now if I go to sessions, I can look and see what sessions have been captured by, um, by this hacker. And if you go to sessions 100, it's the 100th time we've done this, you can see so much information here. We can see Charles's um, username, the password, and most importantly for the, um, the hacker, we see the token has been captured. <sighs> and if you look down here under cookies, we now have in plain JSON um, the token of the user. So what is a token? The token is what Microsoft grants um, a, a user or the machine to be able to log in and within its session. So this is exactly kind of what you need to be able to log into um, an Office 365 environment. So I've highlighted it, I've copied it. And all I need to do now is go down to Firefox 
And I have a very helpful extension um, installed called Cookie Editor. And what this enables me to do is ingest cookies into my Firefox browser. So if I open that now and just delete the cookies that are already there, so there's no cookies here whatsoever, I'm just going to import that JSON that we saw earlier, press import, and those cookies are now being imported. So what we've actually done is imported that session into my Firefox browser. So now all I really need to do is hit enter. And as you can see there, we've now hit enter. We've logged straight back in as Charles. And as you can see here, I have now hacked that Microsoft 365 environment. You can see I'm logged in as Charles and I can go in and do whatever I want now as Charles. So that could be leveraging my pretending that I'm Charles myself, start messaging, start emailing people, start exfiltrating data. Anything can happen now. I've got a session token. And the software you've used, so the Evil Jinx, the cookie editor in Firefox, that's all completely free software that anybody can access. 100%. So Evil Jinx is a framework. It's on um, GitHub. You can just go down, download that, create your fish lips, and get get going with it. You know, Use this for red teaming, like your own environment. Start practicing. Uh, start making sure that your security controls within your organization are kind of fish proof. And I suppose the only skill you've needed here is to write the email that the user is most likely to click on. So with uh -huh. the kind of emergence of AI where we can mm -hmm. we can write emails which uh, look like really good emails that people are going to click on, that's the only skill we need here, isn't it? 100%. I mean, the email that we saw earlier was really quite a simple one, you know. Yeah. Like, there are some really cool, like... Um, examples i've seen in the field and stuff but you know that was like a one-liner but you can get you know pdfs attached to it you can do like qr codes that we've seen quite quite a lot so there's so much that you can do um to try to get entice people into um clicking the link and set and entering a username and password and then within seconds like literal seconds you will be your session's been taken over scary world well, thank you for taking the time to come on the channel today and show us show us that, John. No worries. My pleasure. Thank you. Cheers. Now, I'm sure you'll agree after watching that demo that this is pretty scary stuff. We go to the trouble of implementing multi-factor authentication on our Microsoft 365 accounts because, well, we're told to do so. But now you find out that hackers can bypass this. They can use free software and little skill. The only skill they need is to write an email persuading you to click on a link. So I'm sure the question that you're all asking now is how can we prevent this happening in our business? Well, the easiest way is to make sure that everybody in your business has proper cyber awareness training. When they get those emails with the dodgy links, everyone needs to know what they're looking out for. How do they know this is a dodgy email? Because if we don't click on that link, our token isn't getting stolen. Secondly, if your business uses Microsoft 365 Business Premium, you could do something called creating a conditional access policy. This policy would restrict access to your Microsoft 365 data and applications to only the devices that are owned by your organization and managed in Microsoft Intune. Of course, if a hacker then steals the token, they won't have a device that is managed by your Intune. However, this way isn't foolproof. The third way, and perhaps the best way, is again to create a conditional access policy. This time, you would create a conditional access policy that had token protection. What does this mean? It means that when you log into Microsoft 365 and that token is generated, that token can only be used on the device that it was generated on. So it can only be used on your device. If a hacker sends an email, a phishing email, and your user clicks on that link and the hacker steals the token and puts it on their device, that token won't work. However, the token protection conditional access isn't available in Microsoft 365 Business Premium. If you want this feature, you'd have to buy something called Entra ID P2. That is £6.90 per user per month, but it offers the best protection. 
It has other features as well around risky sign-ons that also can help protect against token theft. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's been a little bit different. We've had a guest on, but I look forward to seeing you again next week.